I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Happy Alter Guild Day! That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we're passing on the faith to the next generation, the faith of Jesus. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. You he didn't even totally go for that. Get the app. All of Higher Things' information, all of our content in your hand, on your iTunes, Apple, uh, Apple TV, Roku, Google Play, Amazon, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift, link in the description, keeps Higher Things, a youth organization, all about passing the faith on. Our kids need this faith in these dark times, and we need your gifts. Give today. So today is <clears throat> Joanna, Mary, and Salome, the Murbearers Day, which is essentially the Altar Guild Day. Um, the, the, the text for this is uh, uh, John 20, uh, Mark 16, Luke 24, and um, Matthew 28. Uh, the ladies going to the tomb on the first day of the week. Uh, they had buried Jesus hurriedly on Friday. Easter, Easter a good Friday. Um, the Sabbath was near. They didn't have time to properly care for the body. Um, yeah, Joseph of Arimathea gave him a tomb. Gave him a tomb. Um, uh, Nicodemus brought a ton of 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 spices for the body, and they basically just threw the body in the tomb and waited till after the Sabbath. The first day of the week, early in the morning, the ladies get up. Uh, this day commemorates um, Joanna, who was, if memory serves, the wife of Herod's steward. Mary, the other Mary, that would be the Mary of, of um, the mother of James. Salome, who is... Um, the mother of the sons of Zebedee, 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 that's all, folks. That's James and John, the sons of thunder. Uh, they go to the tomb early. Now, Mary Magdalene is included in this group, but she has her own day, which we celebrated last week. So, um, link in the description, two weeks ago. So, we've, we've, we've got them at the tomb, and they're bringing spices to prepare the body of the Lord. They think he's dead. And their service and their loving service to him is to care for the body, to properly bring the myrrh that's necessary. Myrrh, if that rings a bell, that's from the wise men, gold for a king, frankincense for a priest, and myrrh, burial spice. So uh, they go to the tomb, but the stone is already thrown away. And the Lord that they're looking to serve is already raised from the dead. And so uh, their love and care, uh, they remind us um, to love and care for those who fall asleep. Th their love and care is echoed um, by all the altar guilds throughout all the churches, throughout all the world that prepare every Sunday and every high feast day for the Lord's Supper to be celebrated. These wonderful women who's Who's, who's, and men too, there are men in my altar guild, whose service is to prepare so that others may eat and drink the Lord's body and blood. And so on this day, this great day, we rejoice in the gift of altar guilds, the gift also of, of Joanna, Mary, and Salome, myrrh bearers who went to prepare the body of Jesus only to find an angel and a resurrected Lord. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and Thor's now underneath my desk, and this has been another Higher Things video short.